curious about Ernest Thompson Seton as an artist? Seton was professionally trained as an artist, taking courses in Toronto, London, and Paris. His father wanted him to be a portrait painter, but his love for nature drove him to specialize in wildlife art. This self-portrait was done before his 19th birthday. While studying at the Académie Julien in Paris, Seton spent his mornings in class and afternoons at the zoo where he captured Sleeping Wolf on canvas. It was shown on the line at the Paris Salon, launching recognition of his talent as a wildlife artist. The painting hangs in the Seton Gallery at the Academy for the Love of Learning in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Following his success with Sleeping Wolf, he created his largest and most controversial painting, a four foot by seven foot canvas called Awaited in Vain. It was not received at the Paris Salon, drawing criticism as horrible, offensive detail, but it was bold and was the talk of the town in Toronto. It hangs at the National Scouting Museum at Philmont Scout Ranch in Cimarron, New Mexico. He illustrated all his own books. These samples come from his autobiography, Trail of an Artist Naturalist, and appear in other publications too. In 1885, Century Dictionary ordered a thousand drawings at $5 a piece, which is about $125 in today's currency. When he returned from Paris in 1896, Dr. Frank Chapman hired Seton to illustrate his book, Bird Life. You can discover more about Seton's artwork on our website at https colon backslash backslash etsetoninstitute.org. Please consider donating to the Institute on Giving Tuesday, coming up on November 30th. Thank you.